This might look like a simple to-do list app, but if you look closer, you'll find that something's off. There's a task here that asks a user to wire $1 billion to the bad guy. How did this task make its way into the app? This is because of an OAuth implementation flaw discovered by Dscope. Let's learn more about NoAuth. Here's the login page for the to-do list app. It has login with Google and login with Microsoft. When I sign into the app with Google, I can see my tasks and I can add new tasks. When I sign into the app from a different user, I can see that I'm logged in with a different user and I can see other tasks. But what happens when I log in with Microsoft? I'm going to log into Microsoft with a bad guy account. Notice I'm using the bad guy credential and OTP. Now, even though I'm logged in as the bad guy, for some reason, it shows that I'm logged in as Omer at Discope.com. As a bad actor, I can start changing the tasks. This is because the email claim returned by Azure AD in the authentication and authorization process cannot be trusted. If the app uses the email claim as the unique identifier, an attacker can use that implementation to perform account takeover by altering the email information in Azure AD. Here is a free Azure AD tenant that I've created. Notice the principal name, the email, and other information belongs to the bad guy. I can now go ahead and change the contact information and change the email to pretty much whatever I want. Let's change it to omer at discope.com. Now, whenever I log in using OAuth or OpenID Connect, the email claim returned will be omer at discope.com, even though the rest of the information belongs to bad guy. Here is how you can find if your app is vulnerable to NOAA. First, Check to see if you use login with Microsoft as part of your user authentication. If you do, check that you treat the email claim returned by Azure AD as the unique identifier for the user. An attacker can abuse this to take full control over your user accounts in your app. Finally, check if you also merge accounts from different OAuth providers. If you do, it could allow the attacker to gain full control over the user's account even if they don't have a Microsoft account. To fix this configuration issue, Make sure that you use the subject claim as the unique identifier for the user when logging in with Microsoft. To learn more, check out our blog in the video description. Stay safe.